I have the Pixel 8 right here. And in today's video, I'll be showing you how to de-Google any device in the Pixel 8 series, as well as the newly released Pixel 9 series with the help of Graphene OS. For those who may not be familiar, Graphene OS is a firmware that most people would call a custom ROM. It is a privacy focused ROM with a goal to be more private and secure than the stock firmware that Google has installed. This is done by removing all of Google services along with the pre-installed bloatware while also implementing a number of enhancements that improve the security of the device. Before you can install Graphene OS on your Pixel 8 or Pixel 9 hardware, you must first unlock the bootloader. This is something that I have already done dedicated videos about, so in an attempt to prevent this video from being longer than it needs to be, I'll include those links down in the video description below, and I will have these links in the pinned comment as well so that it's easy for everyone to find. Just be aware that unlocking the bootloader will wipe all of the data from your device, so be sure to back up your important information ahead of time before you proceed. Since we're going to be using the web installer in today's video, you'll also need a browser that supports web USB. The most obvious choice would be to use Chrome, but you could also use Edge or any other Chromium based browser as well. With that done, we then need to reboot our smartphone into bootloader mode, AKA fast boot mode. And the easiest way to do this is to just restart the phone and then immediately hold down the volume down button. And we're gonna continue holding that button down until you see this screen here. Now, let's go ahead and plug the Google Pixel into the PC with a USB cable, and then bring up the web installer for Graphene OS. The address for the website we visit is graphenos.org slash install slash web. But I'll have this linked down below as well. Now remember, our Google Pixel is plugged into the PC with a USB cable and it's already in fast boot mode. So we're gonna scroll down through this page until you see the download release button. We're gonna click it you're going to see this pop up here where we can select the Pixel 8 or Pixel 9 from this list. After we click on connect, it's going to detect which device we have and our browser will then download the firmware that matches the smartphone that we have chosen. You can see the progress meter here. So we're just going to wait until this step completes. Once this meter fills up and you see the download release button come back into view, we can then scroll down a little bit and you'll see this flash release button a little further down the page. We're going to click on this button and you're going to see your Pixel 8 or Pixel 9 reboot. Now, the web installer is going to handle all of the work for us. It will e extract the files that we downloaded and flash those individual image files to the partitions on our device. You're going to see your phone reboot a few times. And we just want to make sure that the USB connection is stable. It is recommended that you do not interact with the menus during this process and that you do not mess with the USB cable as well. We're just going to let the web installer do the work for us. You can even see a progress bar for the installation right here. 
So let's be patient and wait for this to complete. Once you see this progress meter fill up to complete, and this message switches over to flashed, you are now done installing the custom ROM to your device. The last thing that we need to do is relock the bootloader. So we're going to keep our phone in bootloader mode, and then we're going to click the lock bootloader button right here. You'll see the screen transition to this confirmation page. So we use the volume up or volume down button to change this option so that it says lock the bootloader. And then we press the power button to select that option. Our Google Pixel will reboot as the phone wipes all of the user data. And then it reboots again to take you to the fast boot mode screen again. We're going to make sure that the start option is highlighted. At the bottom, you'll note that the device state is now switched over to locked to confirm that the bootloader is now locked. So we're gonna press on the power button again to select the start option. The phone's going to reboot. And as long as everything was done correctly, the first boot will take a little bit longer than normal, but it will take you to the Android activation screen. This message here is normal. You're going to see that Google screen appear. And then it will transition you to the Graphene OS boot animation. From here, you can go ahead and unplug that USB cable if you'd like. And I'm just going to skip through this activation process. The last thing that you'll want to do is disable OEM unlocking. So you can do that from this screen here. Just make sure that option is selected and tap on start or you can enable developer mode and then disable that from the hidden developer options menu. This is recommended to fully secure the firmware and prevent the bootloader from being unlocked in the future. You can always go back to that menu to enable that again in the future, but that should only be done if you decide to revert back to the stock ROM from Google. Speaking of, if you decide to switch back to the stock firmware provided by Google, it is recommended to unlock the bootloader, reboot into flash boot mode, and then go back to the web installer page for Graphene OS. Scroll down all the way to the bottom and then use the remove non-stock key button provided from Graphene OS that will delete the custom Android verified boot key so that you can then install the stock firmware without issue. Graphene OS is a great option for those who value privacy and security from their Android smartphone or tablet. Sadly, they only officially support Google Pixel hardware. However, they do a lot of work to protect your data while removing all of Google apps that harvest your usage information, making it the easiest way to de-Google your Pixel device. You can see these are the only apps that are pre-installed out of the box. Although you can choose to install a sandboxed version of Google Play services, giving you the ability to install apps from the Google Play Store if you so wish. However, that is completely optional and can be removed at any time. So let me know if you've had any experience with the Graphene OS firmware. And please remember to like this video while also subscribing to the channel because it really helps me out.